has it been a hindrance to you being so out about your sexuality, about the fact that you no. are gay, that you're married? Uh, has, do you feel that, that in any way that has hurt you in public life? You know, it's a beautiful thing to say about this country, and particularly about my province, that it, it's actually become a big asset. I think people just appreciate it right now. I mean, I'm lucky because of the time I live in, and, you know, I, I think that's really important, and I'm deeply grateful to many pioneers who came before me and many before them who suffered in silence and suffered, you know, not being able to be honest with the world about who they are. Um, Steve and I kind of came along at just the right time, and... Uh, uh, no, I, th I think it's a huge asset. He's certainly a huge asset to me. He keeps me happy. He keeps me grounded, you know. Um, but but when we got married in Newfoundland, it was a big deal when we got married in St. John's. And, uh, you know, it was kind of the first kind of big wedding. And, you know, the prime minister had flown in. And a bunch of other, you know, friends in the media had flown in. And all the cast from Canada AM had flown in. And so the city was a bit of buzz about it. And every time Steve and I would get into a taxi, and you know what St. John's taxi guys are like. Oh, yeah. They are, there is no crap. Like, they... There is nothing, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just mouth out some foul language here if you don't mind, but that's how we talk, especially when we're emotional. Every time Steve and I would get into a cab, the cab driver would look in the rearview mirror and look back at us and go, boss, I don't give up. <laughs> and the first time I started to weep a little, like Steve could see I was getting emotional, and I'm like, you don't understand. This is a blessing. This is as good as it gets. A Gulliver's cab driver just told me he doesn't give up. This is fantastic. And one guy even said, he turned right around and he looked me in the eye and he went, Seamus, if you got married in Toronto, we would have killed you. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Because, you know, I was, I was working with Brian Tobin when he was uh, Premier, and we were the second province after Quebec to codify gay rights in our human rights code. Because people there literally don't give up. They don't. Live your life. We're actually fairly libertarian about this sort of stuff. So they also knew that if I got married anywhere else, people would have interpreted that, that I couldn't have got married at home. And they were, that is not true. And they know that, and they were proud of it. And, and uh, man, I, it was, I was just, I couldn't have been, and you know how proud I am of being from Newfoundland, but I could not have been prouder then. I just thought it was, it was so awesome. Every bit of it, we had such an amazing, amazing wedding weekend. It was incredible.